Hong Kong's richest family is no stranger to crisis. Asia's youngest billionaire is just 28 years old and comes from the Kwok family who is Asia's second richest family and the richest family in Hong Kong, with a collective net worth of $38 billion, according to Bloomberg. To the average earner, attaining a billion dollars is most definitely a long shot. If you saved $100 a day, it would take you a whopping total of 10 million days to save up enough money to make a billion dollars. However, some people are born into extremely wealthy families and are destined to inherit billions of dollars when their time comes. However, this does not mean that they're not hustlers themselves and their daily activities range from boardroom battles, bribery, and kidnapping. After all, you do need to keep working to keep your empire alive. Jonathan Kwok may be a name you haven't heard of before, but you would be amazed to know that this man is Asia's youngest billionaire. He has a whopping net worth of $2 billion, and he is in charge of one of Hong Kong's largest and most powerful companies. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Very little is known about the early life of Jonathan Kwok, as he keeps a very low profile. He was born to parents Walter Kwok and Wendy Lee Tingwing, and he has a brother and a sister. However, in spite of very little else being known about the family, they are known as one of the richest families in Hong Kong. To better understand the wealth of Jonathan Kwok, let us take a closer look at the two companies that his family owns, the Empire Group Holdings and Sun Hung Kai Properties. Empire Group Holdings was founded back in 2010 by the late Dr. Walter Kwok, an influential Hong Kong businessman who was a thought leader in his industry. It is both property development and investment company that has a strong interest in new economy ventures like education, technology, healthcare and financial services. Dr. Kwok himself was considered to be an innovator and a pioneer, the man who made many properties and commercial developments across the city of Hong Kong possible. His ultimate goal was to foster a society in harmony, which can be seen in the way that the group develops properties. Sun Hung Kai Properties, on the other hand, is Hong Kong and Asia's largest property developer as of the year 2019. The company was founded in 1963 by Kwok Tak Seng, Fung King Hei, and Li Shao Ki, and it was one of the non-British owned companies that were able to overtake the British trading companies that were prevalent around Hong Kong. By August of 1972, the company was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchanges, and it skyrocketed to success from that point forward. So, what does Jonathan Kwok do for these two companies? As I'm sure you may have guessed from the identical last names, but Jonathan Kwok is the grandson of Kwok Tak Seng. Yet, that Kwok Tak Seng the founder of Sun Hung Kai Properties and the father of Jonathan Kwok's father, Dr. Walter Kwok. Jonathan is the younger son of Dr. Walter Kwok, and he, along with his brothers, are the inheritors of Sun Hung Kai Properties. Dr. Walter Kwok passed away in 2018, but he was the chairman of Sun Hung Kai Properties. However, he had a feud with his two brothers, Raymond and Thomas, which prompted him to step down from his position. It was this feud as well that prompted him to start the Empire Group Holdings. When Dr. Walter Kwok passed away, running the business fell to Jonathan and his older brother, Jeffrey. On top of this, they also inherited their father's stake in Sun Hung Kai Properties, which is a considerate chunk of the company's total outstanding shares. To add to their immense wealth, the two brothers are also one-third beneficiaries of five large family trusts that are being held by their grandmother, Kwong Shu Hing, Kwok Tak Heng's widow. I guess you could say that with riches like these, the two brothers are pretty much set for life. In 1997, eldest brother Walter Kwok was kidnapped by a local gang leader who went by the name Big Spender, and held for ransom. It is reported to secure Walter's release, the Kwoks paid Big Spender nearly $80 million, according to the New York Times. Big Spender, who was also responsible for the kidnapping of the son of billionaire Li Ka Shing, was later arrested and executed by the Chinese government. On the 18th of February 2008, Sun Hung Kai Properties issued a statement saying Kwok would take a temporary leave of absence for personal reasons with immediate effect Kwok later issued a statement stating he would take a personal holiday to travel to the United States, Beijing, and other cities in the coming two to three months, adding he would resume his duties on his return. However, Kwok was formally removed as the chairman on the 27th of May, with his mother Kwong Shu Hing taking over as chairperson. Kwok remained as one of the non-executive directors until his resignation in 2014. 
The Sing Tao Daily and sister publication The Standard reported that the family matriarch Kuang Xu Hing, wielding the holding of the Sun Hung Kai Trust, intervened to oust Kwok from his chairman position to protect the family's interests. It was said that Tong's influence as Kwok's mistress of four years had caused friction with his brothers. Kwok founded Empire Group Holdings in 2010. Empire Group Holdings was incorporated in Hong Kong and was notable for forming joint ventures with other real estate developers in the bidding of the leasehold of government land, such as the Hong Kong Ferry in August 2016 and Sino Land in October 2016. The group also acquired the rights to redevelop and operate the former site of the Mariners Club in Chim Sha Choi, despite not owning the redeveloped properties. Kwok also sued his brothers to revoke the agreement on the distribution of the family fortune. According to his testimony in the court proceedings, he received some real estate in the United States, but of lesser value than what his brothers received. In 2012, Kwok's younger brothers Thomas and Raymond, as well as Raphael Hui, previously the second highest ranking government official in Hong Kong, were arrested by the city's anti-corruption agency on suspicion of bribery. Thomas Kwok and Raphael Hui were sentenced to prison terms while Raymond Kwok was acquitted. It has been suggested that Walter Kwok, who was not arrested, was the one who passed information to the authorities, supposedly in revenge for his ouster from Sun Hung Kai properties a few years earlier. Sun Hung Kai went on to build some of Hong Kong's most recognizable buildings, including the 118-story International Commerce Center in 2010, the city's tallest. However, even if these brothers already have a massive amount of money, they still continue to uphold their father's and grandfather's legacy. This is what the Empire Group Holdings website has to say. Empire continues to be committed to the principles of our founder. For our property projects, that means impeccable quality standards and attention to detail, and focusing on the needs of the end customer. We will continue to champion ideas and innovations that promise to enhance people's lives. We are always open to new business models and continue to seek out ways to harmonize macro-societal trends. As a symbol of their commitment to continue their father's work, the company's logo, the word Empire, in a looping script, was written by both the father and his successors. The large, swooping, E, was written by Dr. Walter Kwok while the rest of the word was completed by Jonathan and Jeffrey. This indicates the dedication of the brothers to uphold their father's values in their work and to continue to keep the company alive and well. It is amazing to see that even though they're already swimming in the riches, the brothers still work their hardest to keep their family legacy alive. The family now finds itself in a financial crisis. The anti-government protests that have disrupted life in Hong Kong for 12 weeks have wiped billions of dollars off their $38 billion fortune, Business Insider previously reported. Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam announced on August 4 that the government would withdraw the extradition bill that sparked the protests. How the quarks will adapt, only time will tell. Sun Hung High shares have plunged 11% since mid-June. That is two times as much as Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index. Raymond was worth $13.1 billion in July 2019, according to and his net worth has since dropped to $11.1 billion. Thomas himself has also seen his net worth drop over $1.5 billion since July as well. The Kwok brothers still rarely sit for interviews with the press and few details about their personal lives and are known to the public. Despite their privacy, the Kwok brothers are open about their faith. The Kwoks are devout Christians and they funded the construction of a Bible-inspired theme park called Noah's Ark on Hong Kong's Ma Wan Island. Thomas Kwok also opened a church on the 75th floor of Sun Hun Kai's skyscrapers. When the average person thinks of the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg's name and face would probably be the first that comes to mind. Most of Facebook's public addresses and announcements over the past few years came from Zuckerberg himself, and it would always be his name that gets reported on by the news. However, Zuckerberg wasn't alone in creating the world's largest social network. He had help. In fact, he had a lot of help. Now, we're going to be shining the spotlight on one man in particular a man you probably haven't come across until today and who just so happens to be one of the world's richest people. His net worth, a whopping $17.5 billion and counting. We're going to be talking about none other than Dustin Moscovich, one of the youngest self-made billionaire in history, and we're going to be deep diving into his life to see how he was able to accomplish such a feat. Click away and see you in the next video.